A land grab could transform a corner of Chula Vista's bayfront. Covering South Bay, 10 News reporter John Horn reveals how a spat between a defense contractor and the Port of San Diego is trying is tying up big plans for that slice of the South Bay. Suzette Peterson loves walking her dog Callie up and down Chula Vista's bayfront. Her and I do well when it's nice and peaceful and I enjoy listening to the nature and um, all the birds and everything. And there will continue to be a lot of open space among the roughly 500 acres. But new offices, retail and homes are on the horizon. I'm conflicted with what I would want to see as far as development and such because I really do enjoy the peace here. But not everything has been peaceful when it comes to the Chula Vista Bayfront Master Plan, a joint effort between the city and the Port of San Diego. The project calls for a new resort and convention center on land now partially owned by UTC Aerospace. It's four acres that the defense contractor doesn't want to sell. Negotiations stalled for this piece of land. It's a parking lot behind this fence, but that may not stop the port from grabbing it anyway. On Thursday, the port's board of directors could vote to acquire the four acre property by eminent domain. The proposed price tag, nearly $1.6 million. A spokesman for the port says the resort could break ground in two years and open by 2021. Peterson says she likes the idea of more visitors spending money in her city, but what she really wants an off-leash dog park. It's a very special place and it's close to my heart. And that would mean fewer trips with Callie to Dog Beach and more time in her home city. John Horn, 10 News. In a statement, UTC Aerospace says that it is aware of the eminent domain possibility, but it also said it would continue to work with the port to help the Chula Vista Master Plan project process.